Hello, 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 and welcome back. Where am I? Here I am. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Gil Plays Minecraft uh, on my private server and the beginning of season three. Um, I built a tunnel with the help of uh, some of the other people on the server, and we have created this portal. I have not stepped through this portal. This is the new lands for where we will be based over the next several months doing our season three stuff. So season, oh hello, what's that? Oh, they built a classic chicken farm, fantastic, that's lovely. Um, so season one was uh actually season one was before but season one officially was um us creating a city together which we did on a lovely little island season two was we were creating kingdoms which we've just kind of finished um we didn't really get it finished but we did enough season three uh, is all about technical redstoney farmy stuff so basically i've always tried to build to make things look a little bit pretty i'm not the best builder in the world but that's what i like to do um in this season we are going to be building technically um, i'm not in any way redstone minded so my view was right let's learn how to do it so we've come to this and this is the mushroom island which will be our base basically um, this will be where we start to sit around and do lots of stuff and then from here we will spread out uh, let's see do i have rockets i have rockets do i have an elytra i have an elytra let's sleep awesome now i've brought a lot of stuff we're not restarting completely from scratch because i thought that was kind of pointless um so i've brought most of my stuff with me i will have to go back uh and it is sixty-five thousand blocks in the overworld so what is that uh, it's like uh 18 no eight ten thousand or something like that ten thousand blocks in the nether uh so we will have to go back at some point but basically this mushroom will be our island what the Oh, wow. Okay. So, I know who's been on. Steve's been on. <laughs> uh, he's obviously got some time off from work over the holiday period, the festive period. <laughs> we on, I only finished that tunnel like a day ago, two days ago. So, he's, start, he's built a mob spawner. Cool. Uh, that's going to be very helpful. Um, excellent. Uh, but yeah, so we I picked this uh, island as our starting point, and then if we go around here, wow, come on, load up. See, I thought this was all meant to be optimized now, but I tell you what, I am having more trouble with chunk loading in 1.15.1 than I ever did in 1.14. Um, but if we go around, if it bloody loads, wow. I wonder if this is a known thing, or is it just me? It can't just be me. We've got some lovely coral. Um, we've got some land. There's definitely some land. So the island kind of sits between two peninsulas that uh, then lead to larger land masses. And I believe one was this way. Yeah, okay, so this is the this over here is like a main bit of land that connects up to lots of other lands um, and our island will be there in the center. Um, what is that? Is that just dirt? Or is that an upside down ship? What is that? Whoops. Ow. That's a... Oh, okay, so it's just like that. All right, let's uh, check. I'm assuming if Steve's already had the time to build all of that, he has most likely gone through and found everything that could be found. Uh, I'm not going to bother looking. I don't care. Right, so first things first, what do we do? First things first, I think, is we need to, um, we need to explore. We need to find uh, a spawner, ideally. Um, that would be ideal and I guess we can exploit this uh, low chunk loading thing <laughs> quickly just to have a quick look down and see if there's any dungeons um, but then I guess we need to start on our first redstone projects and I think the first thing I want to build where is the this is a big island where's the thingy majiggy where's the portal 
lost already. What's over there? Okay, cool. Um, the first thing I want to build is... Um, I guess a... I don't know. I think I think I want to build something to do with a monument farm um, because I feel that I want to use prismarine a lot in my builds. I definitely want to use uh, the uh, the lantern sea lanterns. So I think the first thing I want to do is find a monument um, and then look at setting that up. Uh, but I think what I do need to do is probably build myself a little house um, and get my bed and set spawn and put my chest down, see what I've got, take stock, etc, etc, etc. So let's say we're going to take um, this little hill here for now as our kind of starting base area and everything can be changed. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> um, so yes, that took uh, about th three and a half seconds. Um, we built a pyramid, a glass pyramid. There we go, done. Um, uh, when I say three and a half seconds, it actually took a little bit long because I didn't have any glass, so I had to go get some. Um, but that was easy. There, that's going to be our temporary home. I know it's awful, but it is what it is, and I don't really mind so much. Um, we have just take, been taking stock of what we've got with us, uh, which is a lot of randomness um, and things like that. And then I was starting to think about, you know, as I said, what I want my first uh, build to be. And I was thinking about the Ocean Monument. Now I'm kind of thinking it should be some form of storage. Um, just because if I go back and bring stuff again, we're probably looking at maybe 20 30 shocker boxes uh full of stuff um and once we get it all here we're gonna have to organize it and build a proper room for it so i'm thinking we may as well, we may as well just start with some epic form of storage now obviously because this is a technical uh series we um should be doing it uh redstone wise i guess um which means that i'm gonna have to do some research because uh, I have no idea. I know how to build a basic item filter storage system, but I'm thinking I want something a little bit sexier than that. Maybe something based on shulker boxes that gives me back what I'm requesting, like a computer system, or, you know, something maybe Etho would build, but that's a bit technical. Mm. I'm going to have to do some research and think about something that comes up and fits both my needs, but also challenges me, uh, but isn't like crazy, crazy. So I can actually get it finished, um, which would be good. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully then, uh, yeah, I'll come back and do a little bit more of this episode. So let me have a think. Uh, if not, we'll come back and we'll choose another project to do. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. And we're back. And actually, we're back a couple of days after. Um uh, I got busy doing some other stuff, uh, but I decided to tear down the pyramid I didn't like and I built this little kind of fort. I'm calling it a fort. Uh, <laughs> very simple again, nothing too crazy. Um, but I just wanted the room where I could stand and reach all of my shulker boxes. Um, now all of these uh, purple ones are all kind of unorganized crap. Same with the, well no, the, the black ones are more like storage ones. Uh, and eventually what I'll do is I'll dig a hole down here, or I've dug a hole. I will uh, create some bulk storage down here as well. But I just wanted something that was simple, small, and that I could reach everything. That was the most important thing. I just wanted to be able to stand and reach what I needed. Um, but other than that, we've started work on a couple of other things. Ow. Uh, well, one other thing, and that is uh, this, which is going to be a, a vertical... Uh, vertical cactus farm um, and it's going to go from here to build limit as far as I think I can tell um, so basic simple simple stuff I'm not doing anything too crazy I just want to create enormous amounts of cactus because uh, eventually I want to create a bigger smeltery uh, so I thought I'd start with this to begin with um, so I've got a lot of work to do obviously in order to get this done and I've just probably I've just finished hollowing out the uh, hole um, kind of putting where the water channel will go eventually this will go to here uh, but eventually I think we might move it around so that um, it is all moved to a central storage area or to where the smeltery is actually you know what we're not going to go up the stairs it's annoying like so there we go uh, yeah, so that's going to be the first kind of major project we're working on. Uh, and we're going to do a lot of that off camera. Um, but we've kind of got settled a little bit. 
built a little hut, uh, started a major project. Um, nothing else much is happening. I know Steve has been working on this uh, giant mob farm. Uh, I don't think he's finished it yet. And I know that King arrived. I don't know where he's settled down though. Uh, he might have left the island. I know he, he likes to have his own space. <laughs> he's always he's always like, oh, this is nice. I'll go over here now and leaves. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to leave it at episode one um, of the new season, season of technical stuff. And this is the most easy technical stuff I could do. Uh, and it's not very technical, uh, but it's the kind of easiest big farm I could do without uh, having to sort through all of my crap first. And it's a lot of crap to sort through, so I'm going to have to do that off camera in between episodes. Um, and I'll probably get most of that done in between episodes. And then when we come back, we can maybe start working on... Well, I do really want to get the smeltery done first because we need XP. Uh, we have no source of XP yet. That should be finished soon, but we have no source of XP. So I do want to get the smeltery going. So we might finish that and then possibly go out here. And in some way, I'm thinking there's some way to be an ocean kelp farm or we do bamboo. I don't know. I mean, there's no. I don't think there's a zero tick bamboo farm anymore available. I think that's been uh, fixed in the game. So it's either the biggest bamboo farm in the world or the biggest kelp farm in the world in order to run a smeltery. I kind of like kelp more than I like bamboo. Uh, but it, it's not as automatic, is it? Because you have to make it into the blocks. I don't know. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.